Hello folks, welcome back to React Daily where I bring you guys new, fresh, exciting React content. So first of all, what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be learning how to set state that are set state of an you know attribute or an object of an object of an array deep inside you know buried inside of the uh the state tree so for example we're going to be setting this to be four uh, we're going to be setting this to be done how are we going to do that first of all let's see what it looks like right now uh we're mapping each of the to-do list item to display its attributes and then the corresponding value um, but what we want to do is that there's going to be a button when we click on it the status is going to change from pending to um, to not pending or done so let's make the button first of all uh, show on show set state magic and we're going to have it to inherit a synthetic on click events and I'm going to make an anonymous function because I don't want to write more code. So this is what it, what's going to happen when we click it. First of all, we want to be setting this to be uh, to be done. And to do that, really importantly, you want to be checking against the name. If the name is learn React Basics, we want to change the status to pending uh, to, to done. So uh, to to change name is learn React basics okay so now it's the set state part if you didn't know you can actually map other arguments like pref state into your set state function and we're going to be changing the to-do list items of course uh, now here's the interesting part we're going to be mapping the let me just get done with it first actually uh, each item dots name equals to to change name then we're going to return uh the same item but the status is uh done else else if it's not the same name we're just going to return the same thing all right so let's see what happens now click done so now let me allow me to explain the magic i guess well, actually, I believe that most of us know what we're doing here. We can comprehend this, but we just don't know exactly the syntax. Like, probably most of us uh, have that problem if you're watching this video. But, you know, it's just a good old set state. Don't forget about this because you're actually setting a state. Now, this map thing, this map returns every single thing back, right? Because this is all returning. Uh, but when we're returning back the items, we're going to be doing some modifications to it if the name is equal to the to change name and the modification is this we're going to still be returning other attributes of the item that we matched but the status is going to be done and we don't want to change the other items because um you know there's also attributes like learn react basics and if we were just to do this i'm actually not sure what will happen but i believe yeah the name will be, uh, the name will be uh gone and defined So that's done. Uh, so we got number one off our list. Good. Um, so we're going to delete this part here. Well, actually, let me keep it. Let's do. Uh, let me just delete it. Okay. So now let's get. Let's be able to set this um, food count here, which is buried under food, which is buried under state. So first of all, let's show, uh, let's show the food count. This dot state dot food dot food count. Okay, so it says sh food count two, and let's just let just add a break row. Okay, so when I press show set state magic, this food count is going to increase by one. How are we going to do that? Again, the good old this last test day, right? Every time we gotta do this last test day. Uh, actually, I'm talking so fast that I actually have to process what I'm doing right now. It's pretty funny. My mouth is moving faster than my brain. Uh, okay, we're gonna get to this. Ah, okay. Again. Let 
Let's throw the good old prep state back there. And then we're gonna be still changing food. And here's the thing. We're gonna be changing, we're not gonna be changing these. So how do we do, how do we make it so that we're not changing these? Uh, we use a spread operator and we say this dot or prep state dot food. But what we are changing is gonna be the next one, which is food count. I'm gonna do food count equals to prep state dot um, food count, the press state dot food dot food count plus one. And if I didn't do anything wrong, this should work. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yep. I guess that's it for the video. But uh, there's also another way to do, it, of course. And um, it, let's say if we want to set, if we want to go even deeper, uh, we want to set the jalapeno to four instead of two in the pizza. Um, then of course we're not going to be setting. We're not going to be modifying the food count, so we're going to erase this. I'm going to put back the pizza, and then we're going to say pizza here. But we're not going to be changing the other attributes of pizza. So this is getting like kind of, you just got to think about it a little bit. We're not going to be changing the other attributes of the pizza, so we just spread operator to return what it was. Um, but we're going to be changing the extra cheese. So extra cheese, uh, where was the jalapeno? To four. Four is not a lucky number. I'm gonna change it to seven. And let's see. Let's let's say the jalapeno number. Oh. Uh, and if I press, should jump to seven. So that's it. Um, the other way to do this, which I didn't go into, is we can just do. Here, let me delete this estate. Here's the way. Here's another way to do this test state, um, which is a lot uglier and less in, uh, less efficient, but you know it's good, still good. Here's how you do it. You're still gonna do this uh, test state, um, but when you do this, you don't have the parentheses around this uh, these brackets, and you're gonna be doing this the following: let food equals to object dot assign um this dot prep state dot food and then food dot what was it pizza dot jalapeno equals to seven and then you do return food and boom just like that it worked so this is also another way to do it um, imagine the object I'll assign just like a spread operator. Uh, it's returning the exact same thing, but the reason we have to do this is because uh, you don't want to directly modify the state. So you don't ever want to do uh, let food equals to prep state dot food and then modify it because you know just doing that is just not good. Just keep that in mind. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. For more information. Uh, visit the stack overflow question. I personally the reason why I made this video is because I You know, I always come up against these problems um, in when I'm developing websites, so And I had to come to the stack overflow answer at least six or seven times to memorize the whole thing um, But all the information are here. I really just went through what this person did So thank you guys for watching and see you guys tomorrow